Hey there, it's Kelly with Gently Sustainable and today I'm going to be getting into my hives and uh, rummaging around for a little bit of honey to pull and so uh, but today I thought it'd be kind of neat to show you how to get a smoker started. A lot of people struggle with this and uh, the secret that I have learned uh, from actually the Fat Bee Man on YouTube, it's not so much what you're burning, it's how you're getting the fire started. So let me show you. Okay, so here's what I'm going to start with. Uh, I've got my smoker. I've got some paper and uh, actually this is paper from uh, my bee foundation which has a little bit of a waxy film on it but any kind of paper is fine. I like to get a little bit of cardboard. Uh, many times I use toilet paper rolls. Actually sometimes instead of paper I even use dryer lint and I stick it inside the toilet paper roll. That works well too. And I've got some old straw uh, from the bottom of the hay barn and uh, the smoker. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to light my paper and um, let me show you how. Okay, so I've got a little bit of paper in here. I like to um, make it horizontal, make the smoker horizontal like this so that I'm not trying to get the smoke to rise from the bottom. I'm just trying to get it to rise from the side. Hoping you can see this. Okay, now see my smoke? The whole key, this is the whole key right here, is to keep puffing it. That's much more important than what you put in. But right now I've just got paper. So I'm going to let this get nice and smoky because we, we want nice cool smoke for the bees, not hot smoke. See how much smoke I'm making? This is the key right here is this whole puffing. When I saw this on Fat Bee Man, I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. That is so simple, it's profound. All right, so. Now again, we don't want to smother the fire. I'm going to put a little bit of my cardboard in here because I want to get all of this really smoldering really good before I put the straw in. So here we go. This is what I'm doing. And I'm going to keep doing it until I really I see flames coming up um, or, or that my paper is really good and on fire. And that's I'm pretty close. But again, keep, don't just sit and wait for it to burn. Pop it because you're giving it a lot of oxygen, a lot of air to get that fire going. Up, and I see a flame. Okay, so now I'm going to reach for my straw or hay or whatever you have that's nice and dry. And I am going to completely stuff it down here. Now I can only get away with this, again, because I've already got that flame going. I'm going to do it too soon. And keep puffing and get that flame up and get into that hay or straw. I'm going to pack it. Again, puffing. Don't put out the flame. broke up a long time ago, so I see some of these little straw things hanging out, but I don't really care. I'm just going to get this lid on and get started. Okay. And I'm going to keep puffing. Make sure the lid's on the best you can. Okay. And I'm going to keep puffing until um, I see a real good steady stream by itself. I can already see it coming out of the... So anyway, so that's the trick. This is what we all struggle with the most, right? We don't want to get in our bees because we know we can't get the dump smoker going. It's going to be a big hassle. Keep pumping. And while you're working in your bees then, if you notice that it's kind of not um, smoking as much, reach over, give it a few pops, just periodically anyway. Keep that flame going. Alright, good luck. And the bees. Bye-bye.